The shelter was abuzz with the usual morning routine. The smell of kibble hung in the air, mixed with a faint scent of disinfectant and the constant, comforting murmur of dogs. But today, a quiet, almost eerie silence settled over the kennels. It was the day Emma was supposed to be put down. Three years old, her ears and nose cruelly severed, Emma was a testament to the worst of humanity. She had arrived at the shelter, a tiny, scared wisp of a dog, just a month ago. Her eyes, wide and brown, held a deep, unspoken sadness that mirrored the ache in the hearts of the shelter workers. The vet had declared her case hopeless. The injuries were too severe, the risk of infection too high. Every attempt to find her a home had failed. Emma, with her mutilated face, scared potential adopters. No one wanted a dog with such a tragic past. But there was something about Emma that touched everyone who met her. She was gentle, patient, and her tail, though short and stubby, wagged with a surprising amount of enthusiasm whenever anyone came near her. She was a small, unassuming creature, but her spirit shone through the scars. The morning of her scheduled euthanasia dawned gray and bleak, reflecting the mood within the shelter. The staff had made their goodbyes, their faces heavy with sorrow. They couldn't understand why Emma, so kind and deserving of love, had to be taken away. As the final hours ticked by, a small, pink hand slipped through the bars of her kennel. A little girl, no more than five years old, stood before Emma, her eyes wide with wonder. She held a small, red ball in her hand, and a tentative smile played on her lips. Hello, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the hushed silence. Emma tilted her head, her tail thumping softly against the floor. The girl, her name was Lily, cautiously extended the ball towards Emma. The dog sniffed it, a hesitant lick tracing the red rubber. Lily stayed with Emma for what felt like an eternity. She sang her silly songs, told her stories of her favorite toys, and offered her tiny, loving pats. Emma, in turn, nuzzled against Lily's hand, her tail wagging furiously. For the first time, a glimmer of hope flickered in her sad brown eyes. As the clock ticked closer to the time of her appointment, the shelter director, a woman with kind eyes and a heart of gold, watched the two of them. Lily, oblivious to the weight of the situation, continued to play with Emma. She was unaware that a storm was brewing outside, threatening to turn the day even more bleak. Suddenly, the lights went out. A loud crack echoed through the shelter as a tree, struck by lightning, fell onto the power lines. The shelter was plunged into darkness, and a wave of panic swept through the room. The director, her heart pounding, grabbed a flashlight and hurried towards the kennels. To her astonishment, she found Lily and Emma huddled together, the girl's small arm wrapped protectively around the dog's neck. Emma was whimpering softly, her head resting on Lily's shoulder. The power outage had caused a delay. The vet had to reschedule the euthanasia for the next day. But something had changed in the interim. Lily, the little girl with a heart bigger than her size, had awakened a spark of hope in Emma. The storm raged outside, but inside the shelter, a different kind of miracle was unfolding. Lily, who had been brought to the shelter by her mother to see the dogs, had fallen in love with Emma. Her mother, overwhelmed by the child's pleas, decided to take Emma home. 